She is young and alone and has a harrowing story to tell. 13-year-old Mina says she fled from a Taliban stronghold and from the family business, suicide bombing. My father and brother told me to carry out a suicide attack. They were pressuring me to do this. They told me, if you do it, you'll go to paradise long before us. I told them, what about all the people I'll kill? They are all Muslims. She says her brother, Ismail, helped plan countless suicide attacks, including this one last October in the city of Peshawar, which killed more than 50 people. And she claims he dispatched many young bombers, including her nine-year-old sister, Nahida. They attached a bomb to my sister here. They tied rectangular pieces to both her arms and a black strip was wrapped around both her legs. Then they connected the whole thing. She told my brother the bomb was heavy and she couldn't walk. He said, you will be comfortable once you are sitting in the car. But she was crying very loud for my mother. She kept hugging her. They put her in the car. My mother fainted. Mina is now safe in the hands of police. She says she never saw her sister again, but her brother told her she carried out an attack in Afghanistan. There's no independent confirmation of her account, but officers here believe she's telling the truth. She is very natural. The information she's been giving us is correct. There's no padding. I don't see any sign of exaggeration. Mina may have escaped the Taliban and the relatives who were eager to sacrifice her, but the trauma is still with her. People say, I have a strong heart. I had to be strong. What can I do? God won't even let me die. Mina has now been moved to a secure location. She says the Taliban should be burnt alive. Orlegiran, BBC News, Lower Deer, Pakistan.